wife's gonna kill me. You just don't get it. Things just don't add up. You're telling me one suspect with no motive whatsoever, right? And the other has all the motive to convict him. But we just can't pin him to the scene. We need to get to the end of this. One of them is lying. The question is, who? Let's not judge just yet. There's more to this case. We're just not seeing it yet. Sorry, Gregory. Johnson, let's play this pretty close to the chest. Agreed. We'd like to come this way and we have a few questions. Uh, thanks for staying with us, uh, ladies. We understand it's very hard. We need her. She's hiding something. I know it. Look, Johnson, we're not going to get that if you beat her senseless. Well, I might not be able to control myself. Okay, okay, I'll talk. Then you'll be able to explain where you are in the hours of 10 to 12 on Wednesday the 4th of June. I was just walking the dog. Shit, I'm not buying any of this. I didn't spend five years in academy taking bullets for the country to believe these lies. Look, Johnson, just hear her out. Giselle, we found your prints all over the murder weapon. How do you expect us to believe this? He was a doctor. I sometimes handle his equipment. Ah, oh, this is asinine. He was a trained doctor. Do you really think he'd leave his equipment lying around? You're going to be facing a long time in prison. You can't explain this. I've got my reasons. I just... You, you just what? Well, I can't say. You don't know how hard this is for me. No, Johnson, look. I think you need to sit this one out, please. Please. Look. If you're being threatened or you're covering for somebody, we can help you. We just need a little cooperation. Well, I... Go on. I'm here to listen. You know, I used to be a minister before I joined the forces. Whatever this is... I can help you. God can help you. Fine, you want the truth? I'm not getting anywhere with this! Spilling your head with this religious garbage! You want answers? Throw in a cell for three days. No food, no water. Then we'll see how ready she is. God! Get her out of my sight. So, what do you think? You knew her well. I just don't know. Murder? I just can't imagine I should be capable of that. Believe me, Mrs. Stevenson. 20 years in the business has taught me one thing. Capability doesn't even register as a factor in these kind of crimes. What we're trying to say could be in a crime of passion. Was your brother cheating, texting other women, perhaps? No, not at all. He was loyal to her, to the end. He was too good for her, always covering for her. What do you mean, covering? Well, I just mean she was always a little too overprotective. Like she had something to hide. Well, that should be enough for now. How about we listen to the next tape? God, give us strength. So, you worked together, didn't you? Hell, you were like brothers. But when push came to shove, you took the fall. Humiliated, disgraced, and shunned by your peers. Sounds like the perfect motive for murder, don't you think? Start talking! You ruined my career. Letting me take the fall for that girl who died was his fault all along. That's for us to decide right now. But there's one question you haven't answered. How the hell? Did anyone else have access to You the need murder? to start being straight with us here, otherwise you could be facing a hell of a long time in prison. I was nowhere near the crime scene. Besides, the way he was acting at work, I'm not surprised anyone's out together. Then if it wasn't you, then who was it? Look, how was he acting up in work? He was bragging about some stupid inheritance, flashing it about the place. He got some money from a ring or something. And you wanted it all for yourself, no, huh? this could be important. Inheritance, you say? Yeah, his grandfather passed away leaving him a ton of money, an antique ring worth more than his house. Sounds like you know a little too much about this inheritance. Like I say, he was flashing it about the place. If you ask me, we cover up at work, I'm not surprised anyone was out to get him. Do you think this is a game? Do you think people deserve to die like No, that? no. I mean, the way he was acting, I'm not surprised anyone was trying to make friends with him. Look, if what you say is true, then you must be able to tell us something, anything about the killer. I told you, I don't know anything. Nothing at all. You know more than you're letting on. Get out of my sight. Maybe a night in the cell will make you change your mind. So, Mr. Stevenson, what about Ryan? It's true. There was a lot of tension between them two. As a fiasco at work, they were at each other's throats constantly. He had the motive and the access to the syringe, but no DNA at the scene. The question is, do you think he could have done it? Honestly, if I had to put the blame on someone, it would be him. Yeah, it must be him. 
Well, in that case, uh, I think we've done all we can here. This seems to you're under the rest of the murder of James. You don't have to say anything, but anything you do say may be given in evidence, which you may later rely on in court. What? This is ridiculous! It's my brother! Some day, huh? Yeah, before it never ends. Till I got over there. I gotta go home. It's far too late. Been to grave. I won't go this time. Let's get out of there. Oh, uh, I left my jacket in the interior. Oh, no problem. Looking for Stephen McGrady? So you can leave it be, huh? You had to stick your nose in. You know me, I may not play by the books, but I do know justice. You righteous son of a bitch. One question though, how do you ever work it out? Well, it was a matter of good detective work, really. Giselle, she was simple. I knew she was innocent. Because of the small marks on her arms. I've been roaming these streets for nearly 40 years. I know a junkie when I see one. That's why her prints were all over the weapon. She'd been shooting it that very day. As for the doctor, well, no DNA at the scene. I figured it best to check his alibi. He was at the strip bar all that night. And the sister, well, I must say you're almost happy with that one. You forgot one thing. That ring was a size too small and was stuck on the victim's finger. The body showed the faint mark where the ring was wrenched off the hand. She was nowhere near strong enough to do that. To top it all, you posted the ring to her as if it was inheritance. Getting rid of any discriminating evidence and playing innocent all along. <laughs> well done. Well done indeed. You are always incorruptible. Anyone would think you're the man of the I may not be a man of God, but I do know right, and I do know wrong. And I have the good grace to know which is which. Ah, collateral damage in my line of work. He was sleeping too far into the mayor's business. He can be allowed to live. You son of a bitch. How long were you working for him? Long enough to read the benefits. My plane to the Bahamas leaves in an hour. Now there's only one loose end. to tie up. You cheat your partner after 30 years. You make me sick, McGrady! You die? And the truth lies with you. I'm sorry, friend. Don't do this. I truly am.